Tempers are running high after two days of talks, and the miners and unions are now at loggerheads. They are insulting the intelligence of the NUM and all other unions in that process. Secondly, they are now tendering. They've put in a tender for an unstable coal industry. All we did on the 31st is we came back and we reconfirmed that the companies were still pretty much focused on going the decentralization route and we were not withdrawing, we're not withdrawing the notices. The NUM plans to serve a dispute notice on the chamber and the six coal companies it represents. The next stage is a hearing at the CCMA, which could take six weeks to finalise. I'm not saying that anything is going to change because at the moment the mandate still remains the same. But we are, we are always very positive towards CCMA processes. We want to ask them to please let sanity prevail. Come back to the table, be, be the principled and the respectful organisation that you've been. Both sides are seeking resolution, but the NUM is preparing to demonstrate and strike if necessary. We are unapologetic about that because this is about insulting our members, this is about showing disrespect to the organisation and to its members, and, and, and this is about a matter of principle. As it stands now, I mean, uh, I mean this thing is fresh from yesterday, you know, the tempers are high, uh, it's still fresh in the mind, so yes, we, are, we, we expect that you know, there will be some, some action that, that, that demonstrates that people are unhappy. It does appear that the coal sector is in for some turbulent times if this current impasse can't get resolved. I'm Angelo Coppola for CGTN in Johannesburg, South Africa.